In today's video, we are going to talk about some interesting facts and myths about the Oriental Bicolor Cat. The Oriental Bicolor is a mixed breed cat, a cross between the American Shorthair and Siamese cat breeds. Social, smart, and curious, these felines inherited some of the best traits from their parents. The Oriental Bicolor is a top-notch choice for a family cat. The mixed breed is exceptionally social and will always want to be around humans in their life. These felines also form great bonds with young children. Just remember that such a friendly and outgoing cat will need a lot of human interaction. This is not a mixed breed that fares well being left alone for long periods of the day. Here are some of the interesting facts about the Oriental Bicolor Cat, which will give you some further insight into its characteristics and temperament. 1. Oriental Bicolor's History Although some experimental breeding took place during the 1970s and 1980s in the UK, including Pat Turner's Seychellois breeding program, modern-day Oriental Bicolors owe their origins to matings initiated in the United States by Linda Jean Grillo. Starting in 1979, Grillo carried out a series of matings between Siamese and Bicolored American Shorthair. She then selected the best Bicolored offspring to mate back to Siamese or Orientals in order to regain type. The variety was granted recognition by Tika in 1983. During the 1980s, European breeders, principally those in France and the Netherlands, initiated their own Oriental Bicolor breeding lines. A red and white female Moroccan street cat was used as an initial outcross, then later on a black and white Cornish Rex. Further cats were imported from the USA. It was important for breeders to have different lines in order to be able to make bicolor to bicolor and obtain a higher proportion of white on the coat, without excessive inbreeding. Fife granted championship recognition in 2003 to the bicolored oriental short hairs, and in 2005 to the color point and white cats. These days, you can find oriental bicolors in shelters or in the care of rescue groups. So make sure to consider adoption if you decide that this is the mixed breed for you. 2. Oriental Bicolor's Appearance The Oriental Bicolor is a medium-sized cat. As is always the case, exact size standards might vary. One of the first things that you will notice when you look at an Oriental Bicolor is its pointed or angular face. When you observe these cats from the front, you will notice that they have a triangular face shape, along with an expression that is intelligent and alert. And when observed from the side, the nose of the Oriental Bicolor should be straight, while the chin is strong and features a level bite. The tip of the cat's nose will line up with the tip of the chin as well. The eyes will slant towards the cat's nose, and they will be Oriental in terms of their shape. The ears will be wide at the base, the neck will be slender and long, and the coat will be glossy and sleek. The body, which should be balanced and proportionate throughout, will be slender and long, but the cat will be medium in size overall. The feet and legs will be fine, and the tail will be long, slender, and tapering as well. Most Oriental Bicolors weigh in at 8 to 12 pounds. However, many can be smaller or larger than average. 3. Oriental Bicolor's Personality Oriental Bicolor is one of the most social cats out there. This distinctive, sleek breed loves to be around humans and bonds equally strongly with older folks and young kids alike. In fact, the cat almost demands to be the center of attention, so be wary of this if you often find yourself away from the home for long periods of time or have to embark on work trips. The Oriental Bicolor craves human attention. That being said, these are also intelligent cats who will happily entertain themselves by figuring out smart interactive toys and exploring new nooks and crannies. Providing your feline with a large living space that offers the chance to roam around and check out new areas is essential for this mixed breed. Also, be warned that the Oriental Bicolor is often described as a talkative and communicative cat, so be ready for lots of back and forth conversations. 4. Oriental Bicolor's Temperament and Behavior these cats can quickly adapt to their surroundings when taken to a new place. The lovable, social, and friendly Oriental Bicolors crave human attention and make a great companion for their owners. They love to snuggle up, often seen clinging to their owners, especially after a day out. Being responsive by nature, they are suitable for those intending to spend quality time interacting with their pets. They are tolerant of the unfledged behavior of kids and do well with other household pets, including dogs. Although they have a frisky, lively, and playful disposition, these oriental cats do not always demand playful interaction. Hello! This video is sponsored by BMix Pets. Are you looking for high-quality cat collars at an affordable cost? Check out bmixpets.com. Use coupon code KITTENLIFE to get 20% off. 5. Oriental Bicolors Health Concerns Oriental Bicolors are generally considered to be healthy cats. Although, they can be predisposed to the same conditions that the American Shorthair and Siamese breeds face. As always, 
It's important to schedule regular wellness visits with your cat's vet. Some of the more common health problems oriental by colors suffer from include crossed eyes, asthma, and heart disease. 6. Taking care of oriental by colors. It's important to keep up your oriental by colors regular veterinary checkups to detect any health concerns early. Your vet can help you develop a care routine that will keep your cat healthy. Beyond scheduling yearly wellness visits with your vet, make sure that you pick up a scratching post for your oriental by color cat's living environment. This can help promote healthy scratching and keep the cat's nails in good condition. This is especially important for a mixed breed like the oriental by color who likes to be active and inquisitive. The cat's ears should also be examined regularly for signs of dirt building up or possible infection. Talk to your vet about starting regular teeth brushing regimen that will suit your oriental by color. Your vet can advise you about specific brands and techniques. Because the oriental by color is a cat with lots of energy, it's recommended that you add a cat tree to your home. 7. Oriental by Colors Coat Color and Grooming The oriental by color has a mix of a white base coat with many other colors. Cinnamon, blue and chestnut are all popular combinations. When it comes to grooming, the oriental by color is a low shedder and only really needs brushing once a week. This will help ward off mats and keep the coat in good condition. Just be sure to groom gently as the mixed breed has a thin coat. In terms of climate, most oriental by color cats are adaptable, but they prefer a slightly warmer living environment. You should also always make sure that there are enough shade and fresh water available during the hotter months. 8. Oriental by Colors Training There is no exclusive training method that should be adopted for your oriental cat. Like most breeds, proper housebreaking and obedience training will help the kittens learn the basic rules of living in a human family. 9. Oriental by Colors Diet Raw meat as a primary source of protein can be included in your cat's diet. You can also provide commercial cat foods including dry kibble. Fresh vegetables and fruits such as cantaloupe, corn, or broccoli make good treats but make sure that you offer them occasionally. 10. Oriental by Colors to Children and Other Pets The Oriental by Color gets along really well with young kids. Just make sure that early socialization takes place and boundaries are properly set on both sides. Supervise early interactions between kids and cats. When it comes to other household pets, the good-natured oriental by color usually fares well with many domestic animals. But always remember to supervise early interactions between the new cat and existing pets as well. Sometimes these relationships are very much dependent on the individual pet's personalities. Early socialization really pays off with this mixed breed. Make sure to reward your oriental by color for good behavior when you bring them home to your family. If you enjoyed this video, kindly press the like button. Also don't forget to subscribe with notifications on, so that you don't miss out on videos like this. Thank you for watching.